Real life racism is real! I don't have a litter box for Makotes. I would buy one if I could. This video is classified as a short form documentary and is designed for educational purposes. Any criticism is presented for entertainment purposes only. Do not seek out or contact anyone mentioned in this video. This content is intended solely to inform and entertain and no money is being made from this video. P.S. Check the description for a few important notes that I forgot. So let's run through these ones, but also we watched the Final Fantasy documentary. I don't think we go that far. It's like 10 minutes, but I, we're, hopefully we don't spend too long on this. Note one, some screenshots were pulled from old versions of the website on the Wayback Machine. Note two, Reika has used several aliases and has, and has explored their gender identity over the years. Note three, sorry for the speed at which some screenshots have by. I'll have an image gallery ready shortly with all the stills. Now, having watched part of this off stream, some of these images are huge. We're not going to read everything that's on them. It is a gigantic Apple-esque TOS list at times of information. This is a small feature on the drama surrounding a Midgard Stormer free company, Azure Infinitum, and their leader. I learned about this after the leader of the FC came over to a friend's FC and stood around with his two buddies for two hours demanding to speak to the manager over some drama. Learning more, I discovered that the guy is pretty weird and wanted to document all of the craziness. The leader who considers themselves an influencer slash public figure has threatened lawsuits towards younger players who don't know any better, made ableist comments, and has acted erratically in-game, and I thought it worth sharing this with the larger community so as they do not get bullied or bothered by them. Happy holidays. <laughs> this was uploaded on Christmas, by the way. Last time was a weird cult thing. Which one? Do you remember the name? Because there's a few. The one with the people acting like characters. Oh, the FF house. Yeah, okay, I remember. The FF house. <laughs> There's a few in the FF community that are a little uh, like off the rocker. This is a small tale about drama in Final Fantasy XIV. It's rare for me to be front row center for some spicy internet drama, and while it might not be on the level of other drama in Final Fantasy XIV... <laughs> Does everybody know about these? Does everybody know about the... <laughs> Does everybody know about the billboard? For people who don't know about the billboard, the billboard was an FC party that was advertised IRL via a billboard using Square's own assets in fonts and art... Well, artistic assets. So I'm being a bit redundant with saying assets twice, but TLDR, huge blow up of people going, y'all need to take this down. About five days of yelling back and forth followed by them taking it down and still having the party which apparently went really well i mean this was in real life yeah 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 <laughs> dreadworm we already kind of talked about it's probably the largest ff14 free company with heavy cult vibes that's in existence zeems has a really good i think hour ish video on it that i highly recommend i can't do it as much justice as he can he's been more present for this game's life cycle than I have. Would you guys be okay with me taking this pyro clip of real life racism is real and making a uh, redeem or something out of it with the Lollafell lifter? For people who don't know this, the Lollafell lifter was yet another weird thing that the FF community got it up in arms about. They added a chair, fin finally, yes, for Lollafells. Yes, do it. <laughs> for Lollafells. And... Lollafell and players have been wanting furniture for a while, but the chair they added, this is the Lollafell lifter. <laughs> they added a high chair, made a lot of people mad, which led to a, I'm going to say a decently small amount of players, no pun intended, on Twitter being very vocal about not being cool with the Lollafell jabbing that goes on in game which then devolved into lollafells are prejudiced against actively by the ff player base specifically in the role play community which yeah, led to a, accessibility which led to a lot of conversations about lollafell players being mad because they're not allowed in rp fcs that are more adult oriented which led to people being upset that they were being told no you look like a goddamn child you're not allowed in our erp room which led to 
this streamer, Pyromancer, making the statement, Real life racism is real! <laughs> and going on a long rant about how real life racism is explicitly level, i.e. the same tier of seriousness as someone making fun of Lollafels and FF14. And it kind of devolved from there <laughs> for a few weeks. Lala's have their own dwarf houses that no one else can go into. Let's call it even. I I'm going to be honest. You've got a point. I don't have a litter box for Makote's. I would buy one if I could. I have a cat tree, but I have to craft it. That's the most we get as a Makote player. Okay, maybe it is. Regardless, we are in a content drought at the moment. I thought I'd put together a small Christmas present for the community, documenting some of the craziest shit I've seen this side of bath salts. This particular bit of drama deals with a 10-year-old free company, or guild, for you non-14 players. It's Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to read some of these. Hold on. Hold on. Azure Infinitum, 2014, 320 members. Closest is the lemonade box. Just joke with every race in FF14. Yeah! I I'm totally fine with it as a Makote player. <clears throat> One final disclaimer, we have 160 plus members, but only about 20 that have been on break. Over half of our roster logs in during a 24-hour cycle, with 40 to 50 being online at once during primetime hours in the USA. We kick members who have not been online by their 60th day without giving us some kind of notice. We do not consider ourselves hardcore or elite, as some may perceive, by our high ranking in the top three in the, on the lodestone. <clears throat> we are well-rounded, friendly, and good at what we do. We are more than happy to always welcome casuals, veterans, returning, and new players alike. Can I ask a question? Why do people care about the rankings for FCs on the Lodestone? Is it just world first mentality people of super hardcore, highest parsing conglomerate of players? There's zero reason to give a damn except your name is on the website. <laughs> That's, we do not know. People joke about Highlanders not having eyebrows. They have eyebrows. Do they not? Hold on. Do they not? Highlanders. Do they not have eyebrows? Eh. <laughs> Maybe. We don't. I had to add makeup to add shading to look like eyebrows. Why are they? Okay or guild for you non-14 players it's delusional leader and the numerous people who have been caught in their wake over the years there is the standard mmorpg drama you'd expect but mixed in is weird religious stuff bizarre role playing someone losing the job restraining orders being filed threatened legal action regarding offshore oil drilling and the nerdiest revenge porn i've ever heard of okay i watched this last night i don't remember the oil drilling <laughs> part of it this is the story of Azure Infinitum and its leader Reika Fukushima and how drama seems to follow him like stink on a pig. Okay, no, 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 I want to read this. Reika Fukushima, Infinitum Master. As founder and master of Azure Infinitum, I command from the top, beginning with overseeing our ranks and team development. I host our assemblies, many live events, meetings, and lead our Azure Council. I strive to keep Azure moving forward in every direction while enriching our community wherever possible and manifesting our vision and direction. I have led Azure Infinitum since its founding in 2014 and seek to continue creating a truly great community brand and online family together. I am no stranger to professional work or leadership experience and live by many philosophies which I put to use in my daily lead of Azure Infinitum. Drama cat girl checks <laughs> Okay, I don't, look, don't apply that to me, please. Don't you want to become a cult leader? Here's how. At first glance, Azure Infinitum seems to be no different than many other free companies that populate 14. Structure your cult like an onion with the most benign and helpful features on the outside and the most controlling, kooky, and evil parts at the secret inner core. Hello, everyone. Are you looking for an FC? <laughs> Azure Infinitum is an active friendly, and organized community, welcoming casual, new, returning, vets alike. Feet events, Discord, website, socials, link shell and more. Slash tell to inquire. Does anybody know what that TTS voice is? I think if you search SMG 
for Bob TTS. You should find it. Oh, we're in the YouTube tutorials now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey guys atomics here and today we will be teaching you how to get the purple chef voice it is the right one. <laughs> oh my god okay i'll uh, thank you for this mike i will i will do that for sure after stream However, lurking underneath all of that is an organization that is evocative of a cult and a bizarre mixture of role-playing, law, and bureaucratic nonsense. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Why are the subtitles stuck on this side of the screen? Okay, whatever. Um, shoot. <laughs> okay, here you will find our general guidelines that everyone in our community must follow, as well as some event rules and universal rules for all official Azure activities, as well as all helpful information about other subjects related to and related features. If you are considering joining and have put in an application or request to join or have spoken with a scout or higher rank, please make sure to read our general rules and guidelines. Most of the content here applies universally across all forms of Azure unless otherwise stated if related to platforms specifically, EX Discord website, supported games, FF14, Destiny 2, etc. This is too much. <laughs> this is too much already. I'm worried about putting more than five rules in the Discord server. This is too much. The end result is a bizarre mishmash of a religious paramilitary group and the DMV. Some brief highlights. A. The actual rules and regulations of Azure are longer than the fucking Final Fantasy XIV user agreement. I, I'm not joining a, a guild that has a legal document. I'm going to be honest. That's too much. Uh, that's too much. <laughs> that's nearing 40% more than the actual FF14 legal disclaimer. Why do you have to read a novel? I, I, bro, I'm not reading that. Hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure a lot of this is carryover from the XI player base. They were they slash we were all about this nonsense. Did you write one of these, Aeon? Control their thoughts. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Originally released in full Aorzean in 2014, then revised in English in 2020 and 2022. I have detailed my oath to Azure Infinitum in lore. And a real sense. Past editions were similar despite some updates. Incredibly, both previous revisions were released in September, so it's a new custom to renew it every so often. The 2022 revision was lengthy, and 2023 revision is better worded of past editions combined and keeps the spirit of the original 2014 document fresh and applicable to all worlds beyond Heidelin. It has always been my honor to serve Azure Infinitum since our founding. Take this moment as a renewal of my vows to it. My passion for bringing people together, making memories in our community, and observing and gilding our, guiding our members, growing from newbies and recruits to experienced leaders and active members, always keeps my love and duty to our cause kindled brilliantly. I do not go a moment without a sense of pride in our community and gratitude for... Can I? Should I start doing my yearly, like little christmas I, I i appreciate you guys messages like <laughs> i do not go a moment without a sense of pride in our community and gratitude for the love and support so many give to each other to azure and i we press onward seeking to manifest the most friendly active and organized community we can muster together encouraging one another while facing challenges in game or offline slash irl and we share a hope that Azure adds something special to each of your, your lives through the dark and the light. With your strength and support as my armor, with sword and shield in hand, literally and metaphorically, or metaphorically, I vow to remain vigilant in my duty that we always share a special home in Azure across many Azure skies. With each step carefully made and with your support, my actions will continue to inspire, build, listen, care, and thrive with you using my arsenal of skills and resources. As we soar into a new crusade, I will prove these promises as I fly alongside each of you together, as free as the azure sky. Why, why exactly are we reading? 
Because it, it's going to spiral in a few minutes. <laughs> Our ideology answers all... <laughs> God, there's too many things. I guess this is like section 22 of their book. Authoritative action, disciplinary measures, problem solving, and transparency. Azure Infinitum relies on many problem solving methods before disciplinary measures and authoritative action is needed or gets distributed. Our problem solving methods vary depending on the, each situation. Answers all questions. You truly get back what you put into Azure Infinitum. Many members who fail to establish a presence and choose to never interact with our community at all or almost never often leave feeling isolated or claiming that they never connected here. If that is so, it is completely their fault. We provide a plethora of opportunities. To all problems. Let our doc oh my God. We ask that all of our members understand that during certain situations that may appear that total transparency by leadership and ongoing investigations, problem solving, or dramatic situations, it is not possible, nor will it always be provided. Issues that may become widespread enough may receive a public statement addressing them with context while we keep a no drama policy. Let this be a disclaimer that, that bro, if you have to say you have a no drama policy that you're okay. Let this be a disclaimer that some drama is always inevitable in communities and that while we try our best, it's up to us to also have patience and understanding when it occurs. As recommended earlier in this chapter, er, in this charter, members are recommended to be patient and contact leadership should any crisis appear to be taking place and leadership will provide as much context as possible, often providing appropriate documentation to clear any error. Keep in mind that those we may ban... No drama policy. We could see how that turned out. <laughs> so, okay. Hold on. A little backstory. I actually found this uh, six hours after it was posted on GameFAQ. I, I randomly went to Game uh, Game FAQ, if you don't know what GameFAQ is. And I was looking up specifically something, Aeon, you mentioned in stream a few streams ago when I was talking about the fellowships versus cross-world link shells. And you and I think Dua both told me Fellowships are pointless. They don't crossword link shells are better fellowships. And I was just trying to dig in to see why fellowships still exist. And I came across the game fact forum where this was at the top. Keep in mind that those we may ban can become disgruntled ex members, crusaders, trolls, and haters alike who may often make bold statements about others or Azure leadership saying, quote, well, Azure is corrupt. You should leave end quote, is the number one style of phrase or metaphor used to scare our members. Doctor documentations or scare tactics in the form of indoctrination and insisting that others should leave because of others, quote, faults is common for those seeking to unravel our community. Often the main target is leadership or the very top. I wonder why it's often leadership being the target instead of individual. As someone who was very high in in the like ladder of uh, one of the largest ttt servers in gary's mod back in its like peak days if the problem is always being leadership in a gary's mod server or a battlefield server or a counter-strike clan it's probably leadership it doesn't matter what the game is it's probably leadership if you want to call it leadership i think it's kind of um a bit overtly egotistical to call you know just like a gaming community like head leadership i think that's a little weird it's a little too professional for what it is like i know i call the mods in the discord like staff sometimes but like that's that's about as far as i'll go personally listen you mean you don't have officers in your fc Man, my FC is a group of people who are like Metal Gear fans. And I don't talk. I talk to one of them and they're my emote artist. Like I, I don't talk to anybody in my free company. I've, I've never raided with my free company, which is why I've never done like EXs or anything. Because I, I don't have a group of people to do them with. That's the ulterior motive here. That's where I'm, I forgot it like zooms out. That's my goal with streaming is to get a bunch of FF people together that can like raid with me. <laughs> That's my motive. <laughs> you don't have grand enforcers? That sounds that sounds so obnoxious. Trying to think for you. B. Leadership are expected to be trained for FC events. This training can take up to a month for simple things like hosting a maps night and learning how to tithe or tax. For those who don't know what tithing is, participants 50% of all raw money earned. 
I'm sorry. Hold on. Why is there a picture of Azeem's on screen? Like, first of all. Does Zeems like tax people in his streams? And there's the room tax. <laughs> Azure's oldest tradition since 2014. <laughs> Trezor Thursdays groups time-worn map parties and runs up to three rounds. Instructions are given by hosts to link map locations and party chat, blah, 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 blah. This event doubles as a guild fundraising event for our free company where everyone wins. Normal encounter dropped gill is tracked by a party host or designated tracker for 50% fundraising deposits. Attending this event is an agreement to assist the FC f in the fundraising for the event. Uh, subtitles, you're in the way. We'll roll money no, stop. Minimum requirements to join. Have at least one level 60 to 90 Disciple of War magic job. Bring three time warm uh, eight-man maps. Uh, joining with zero maps is okay, but map owners will be prioritized in grouping slash invites. Have all Endwalker zones unlocked. Or not? Wait. Yeah. Have all Aether Currents and Heaven's Word through Endwalker zones unlocked. There is a one-time forgiveness for those... Oh, for this, where those who cannot fly may be taxied. Those who cannot fly must unlock flying in all zones before attending another Treasure Thursdays event. Hold on. I, okay, I'm not deep into this part of FF. Wouldn't you just have like a group taxi anyway for these or no? Wait, wouldn't you just... Yes? Why? So why is this a problem? <laughs> Fundraising for fucking what? The free company, man! <laughs> they need money. I be I now I'm I don't know where the money's going, but they need money. Buy more housing items, maybe, maybe, maybe a little like it kind of falls out of the plate onto the floor in front of a few higher high tier members. I I I don't I'm just just speculating. I'm taxis are far easier. What at one time forgiveness for those who cannot fly? Why? Just carry them. Or just let them walk. Or if you just don't want them there at all, just boot them from the FC if you're going to be that strict at that point. See, bad fanfiction that is about as compelling as an atheist trying to conduct an exorcism, going back nearly 10 years. Merging real life events in with the game story. That was a lot. Hold on. I'm not going to read all this. Hold on. I'm going to skim some of this. Hold on. That was a lot. <laughs> Sojiro Fushijima was a somewhat distant father to his... Okay, no. We're going to read this one. Sojiro Fushijima was a somewhat distant father to his daughter, Reika. He was a busy man, shrewd in his expressions and dealings, and could be cutthroat toward anyone he discovered trying to swindle him. He had blue hair, a trait shared by many natives to the island, usually tied back in a ponytail with just a few strands hanging over his forehead. He always kept a rugged stubble as well, just the way his wife, Chihiro Fuji Fujishima, liked, despite their daughter complaining that it hurt during snuggles. Though, he was, though, though she was but 18 when she left the aisle one day, Reika Fujishima had learned a deal, a great, wait, a deal about business from her father and spent time with him at the Fuji clan dojo learning kendo. He is trying to con enter the Hesitra. There was once a time long, long ago when the first ancient mortals began to commune with the life stream of the ethereal sea. These ancients had been the first to develop a society, and through primitive, and though primitive, their kind was known as Hexitra, had surpassed all the Charlean scholaristicates. Scholasticates. Is that a word? And forums knowledge combined. Conduct an exorcism. Going. Hold on. Exorcism? From ashes to the drama ridden Crimson Blades free company, they came, they sought these dreams of hope, positivity, success under Reika Fujishima's leadership, integrity, and perseverance. The founding members of Azure Infinitum and the final members of Crimson Blade put their resources together to build anew. Since its founding day, Azure Infinitum has stood unshakable, overcoming any obstacles, realizing goals, and seeing them to their completion meeting many new friends and comrades along the way and made its way to the top three of the free company rankings. 
Many have come to us from debt-free companies and those filled with drama, whatever the case may be. Azure Infinitum is a family of comrades. It is our victory together for those who have been, who are with us, and who are yet to come. What dreams have been colored by Ebon and Crimson are now as infinite as the Azure sky itself. Back nearly 10 years, merging real-life events in with the games. Hold on. To all of my children who, in whom life flows abundant, fly with your wings, shining in the sky's light of justice. Focus your eye. Did they just re rewrite the lyrics to answers? Focus your eyes where our plight is victorious, keeping a keen ear to all who cry defeated. As our souls yearn for honor, do not be caught in frivolous things. Look to those who've flown before to lead those who will fly after. Your souls will be torn, stand together, and they won't be forsaken. Our lives are but riddles to bear joy and despair. Stay strong and know the azure sky will always be there. The land and sky is alive, free, infinite, grand, azure, 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 so believe. The game story. Make them feel part of a special elite group with an important mission. D claims that Azure Infinitum is some sort of large global media empire. A good con man takes a look. Hold on. <laughs> Beginning in 2014, as an established FC guild in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Azure Infinitum has since grown to expand its horizons and creating a larger family across a wider network. Azure is its own brand and hosts this site as a portal community hub of the Azure Infinitum network of which promotes topics related to visual culture, a term used by Azure in the owner redacted. Visual culture is an umbrella term that represents many forms of fandoms, media, and entertainment subcultures. Among Azure's denizens are fans of anime, music, manga, or comics, movies, gunpla, or hobby modeling, and much more. Mission. D claims that Azure Infinitum is some sort of large global media empire. A good con man takes a little bit of truth and a lot of lies and pulls the wool over the eyes of the ignorant. E parades through the game where people chant it. You're so thank you for not being insane, just being kind and understanding person to many. What? I mean, I try to not be a dick to people. <laughs> I might chuckle at some people in this FC though as this video continues. As free as the Azure sky. Oh. 5 15 p.m anniversary azure day 2020 day one parade rp walk and raffle off let's make the biggest free company parade ever as we join together in a big line to express our pride in our community show off fc spirit as we walk through several arr zones and city states stopping at various pubs and adventure guilds along the way for flash raffles and photo ops it's amazing to see people's reactions as we parade through on our way through the realm, waving, popping, recruitment shouts, and showing Eorzea how much of an enjoyable, active, organized, and friendly community Azure is to be a part of. Celebrating our free company, we recommend bringing any fireworks, special effects, and emote greetings towards others as we parade around across the city and land. It's more than a parade, it's an experience you seldom see in FF14 and walking together, catching memorable screenshots of our large group marching through towns and across fields just hits different. All are welcome to join the parade. And this part sounds kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Like, this part sounds kind of cool. I, 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 I'm I still not sure about the more cultier aspects of, of it or the more, like, overt professionalistic aspects of it i'd love to do that i think it'd be fun i don't think there'd be any problem there toad sounds like a fun thing yeah when do we get to the part where they get really <laughs> manipulative and controlling sky Induce trance states and self-hypnosis by practicing thought-stopping rituals and repetitive acts like dancing Come on. Top jokey comparisons to cults aside, you might notice that Raker comes up a lot when talking about the FC. Because, for all intents and purposes, Raker is the FC. Which is fine. It's okay to have hobbies and interests and making administrative busy work your passion is fine. Just ask Eve online players. <laughs> Is 
Okay, I don't know if I want to go back and read all of that. Rick has a human girl with blue hair. He's aspiring to become a great journalist. Uh, that's just Lucy from FF. FF? Fairy tale. She eventually finds herself meeting a knight from a parallel world and ventures there to discover the mystery of her birth, relics, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's just RP stuff. Need to have hobbies and interests this and making administrative busy work your passion is fine. Just ask Eve online players. Yeah. But, it's, it's just but what PR is concerning st is PR, trying RP to stuff. What is Azure Infinitum? We're a global content and community network. This site acts as a hub for news articles, blah, blah, blah. We go to, okay, we run Turn that. Azure Infinitum into a brand and passing themselves off as being a video game industry professional. Either by lying by mission or by plain lying. To be clear, Raker does have some experience working for major companies. However, he has either made ridiculous claims or misrepresented himself. Hold on. Excuse me if that came through the mic, I'm sorry. I tried to lean away a little bit. Um, Electronic Arts and Dice Battlefield 3, Epic Games, Gears of War 3. Oh, these are from Indeed. Insomniac Games, Resistance 3, Uncharted 3, Naughty Dog. CEO and founder of Azure Infinitum, privately or under the name of my organization, Azure Infinitum, I create platforms and design social media networks for IPs, public figures and influencers, content creators, industries, and businesses. I have been writing professionally since 2005, beginning with popular blogs and volunteer work, and graduated to working with figures in gaming, animation, and, and overall entertainment industry. Rika's resume highlights a ton of massive projects and employment with a number of big-budget video game studios. The most egregious being claiming NCSoft wanted to hire him for a chief development officer for Guild Wars 2 team. Hold on. NCSoft Corporation has an opening for chief development officer in their Bellevue, Washington location. Uh, we thought you might be interested in this opportunity. To explore this further, you'll want more detail. You'll find more details at application instructions on the job detail page, page below. Isn't that just a normal recruiter thing, though? This isn't like a direct offer. This just looks like a, a standard recruiter email. NCSoft asked me to run Guild Wars 2, but I was like, thanks anyways. This looks like a normal recruiter email. He's being claiming NCSoft wanted to hire him for a chief development officer for Guild Wars 2 team. Make Sometimes it's tough, but I had to get tough about turning down interesting positions like that years ago. Gotta take risks when you want to do big things. You have to believe in yourself 200%. Make up stories about yourself to boost your importance. I invented air. But, okay, maybe Azure is a brand and Raker can't let the dreams be dreams. They even state on their resume that they have a Flickr photo stream of over 1M viewers and 400k plus subscribers. Does Flickr have a streaming service? Photo stream versus camera roll. Photo stream equals the public facing way to display photos on your account. Camera roll is the private tool. Okay. So yeah, it's just that. There's no way you have a million viewers, 400k plus subs on one website. And then your other thing is in fact still this small at 102 and 30. Oh, wait, that's the same website. I'm just fucking stupid. Hold on. I didn't know Flickr had a dark mode, first of all. But, yeah, a little discrepancy. It's not 1 million to 400k. They're obviously a successful influencer. Best as I can tell, Raker has not done much more than be an event photographer for marketing events and some low-level QA work. Unrelated, here is the resume of someone who did work as a chief development officer for NCSoft. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. I don't. I've never understood people who just blatantly lie. Like, is it just. Well, I don't know. I, it, it's such a it's such a varied situation that I don't think it's as simple as me just saying, is it just envy? Like you wish you could do that, but you, do, you don't think you can put in the work or you don't want to put in the work. Because it'd be easy for me to just say it's laziness and they just want to feel like they achieve something. But I don't think it's that. I think it's closer to cheater mentality of, yeah, but I won. 
So what do you get when you mix someone who wants to turn their video game guild into a thriving business brand with sane, rational members of society? Drama, a lot of it. Details are a bit fuzzy given that I've only had a chance to observe a portion of this firsthand, but there have been four different internal drama blow-ups with Azure Infinitum. Oh, here we go. Raker. The first was the initial creation of Azure Infinitum. Details are lost, but Raker had problems with another FC they were a part of. Number two was an incident that- Hold on, hold on, does that have anything to do with the previous FC? When Azure Infinitum faced challenges in its creation after we made a reformation from a dying community named Crimson Blades, this led to a fresh start that would be free from the negative actions and corruption that was being promoted by the previous community's leadership. All right. Part of. Number two was an incident that has been partially documented on Reddit and alluded to by Raker. Jesus Christ. Why are, like... I'm sorry, FC Drama and FF. I've only been paying even moderately moderately close attention to it for a year it is insane this threat is to help guide warriors of light away from some of the evil that lurks in eorzea i'm a former azure member that was very active inside the fc back in 2015 left in early 2016 i did many other events donated fc chest was very active in the team speak oh man team speak uh ba -ba 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 -ba. Pretty well known amongst members. I was close friends with Reka herself, or at least I had thought I was. I had begun a relationship with one of the FC's officers, Seraphic Lifestream, or Seraphic Lightstream. During my time in the FC, and when Reka had found out, she pretty much threw a tantrum. She started a fight with Seraphic and chased him out of the FC while I was gone on vacation with a few friends. When I came back, I immediately left the free company and confronted Reka about it. She began to explain, lie, to me about how she and Seraphic were in a relationship themselves and how Seraphic was cheating on me. She went as far as to tell me that I was an idiot for ever loving someone like him after this had happened. Seraphic and I spent some time outside the free company. After a while of being loners, Seraphic and I decided to make a personal FC and share our crafting mats. However, Reka deciphered this as an FC meant to rival and oppose Azure Infinitum. We ignored this at first, figuring no one would really bother us once they saw there were only like two people in a private FC, which isn't very threatening. Then we found out that one of my best friends, Kai Yukimura, had become another target of Reka. All Kai had asked for was to stop being treated like a child in the free company and how she felt as though she deserved to have some recognition. Reka, of course, freaked out on Kai for this and removed her from the FC. She called Kai a child and told her that she would never make it anywhere in the world acting the way she did. Now, mind you, Kai was 15 at the time after Kai had been removed from the FC for Reka's unjustifiable rage. She came to uh, she came to my and Seraphix FC at the time. Our free company was called Lunatic Pandora Lunar. After Kai's removal, Reka turned her rage on to two more of our friends who wished to remain anonymous. Those two friends came to us as well. After Reka had seen the three come to Lunar, she flipped out and deemed us the Lunar Rebellion and placed us on her so-called Skyfallen rank on the Azure website, telling people to blacklist us for doing nothing but hurting her feelings. After our friends came to Lunar, I decided I wanted to try my hand at opening the FC up and running one of our own. Of course, it was innocent, but Reka decided that our FC meant we were opposing her while recruiting for... In into our FC, we accidentally recruited another ex Azure member that had informed me that Reka would use the FC chest money for her own personal profit. I, I said earlier, I wonder where the those uh those fundraising funds were going. Side note. After we had begun recruiting into our FC, Reka began to spread around Azure that we were poaching members from them. We only ever sent out shouts or messaged people with no FC tags. After finding this out, it made me think back to all the times I worked with members in the FC workshop, spending your own gill to finish FC projects while Reka just stood on the back balcony of the area and watched. If this was true, then she had plenty of gill to work on the FC projects of the FC that she loves so much herself rather than watch us do it. Oh my god, this is why I, 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 I do not join big FCs. I do not want I do not join it big also groups. Features Rika's special blend of role playing with real life by creating a public band page on their website and creating a special term for band users, Skyfallen. <laughs> oh, oh. 
<laughs> now we enter the part where I'm gonna go. It's getting a little like, like, culty. We have a full on. No, don't associate with them. They're the others now. Past members. Uh, oh wait, hold on. This whole thing is about the sky falling. Past members of Azure Infinitum responsible for great crimes against the free company and its members. The names on this list are kept here to show the shamed ones of our past and to enlighten our members for caution's sake. This ain't it, Chief. The, these ones are those we ban on a more extreme level than normal rule breakers or folks who are discharged for lesser reasons. Those listed here are banned from every incarnation of Azure Infinitum website, Facebook, in-game, FC, uh, Alliance, etc. Blacklisting them is recommended. Names added to the Skyfallen list are reported to all Infinitum Alliance free companies. It may be reported to many and more and shared through social outlets. Not only offending our trust and betraying our values, the Skyfallen are responsible for acts such as seeking to cause or causing damages to the FC. Initiating rebellion via social propaganda and rival company creation, poaching campaigns, slander campaigns, long-term harassment, social engineering, continuous instigation of great drama which caused damages, spying for Skyfallen, or assisting in rebellion plots, real-life stalking, or real-life criminal activity, and any kind of great deal of suffering depending on the situation. Quote, those who fall from the sky, the sky will never forget. Hold on, hold on. Having fun with blah, 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 blah. Okay. Seraphic live stream, banned, ex officer, co founder, charged with leading the Lunar Rebellion, social offline and in game anti Azure propaganda distributor, rival company creation to oppose Azure Infinitum, poaching campaign leader, slander, harassment of countless members, instigation of great drama in the free company as an officer rank and team speak admin, real life harassment, sociopathic behavior causing damages to roster, great drama and attempts to halt free company progress. Okay, this is too much. This is too much. I'm not going to read the other two down here, but just, come on. Skyfallen. Tighten your group's bond by establishing scapegoats and enemies. Demonize outsiders as less than human, biased, corrupt, or conspiring against the group. Develop an us versus them mentality. The majority of my knowledge of this stems from the aforementioned Reddit thread and seems to involve jealousy, accusations of poaching, foreshadowing as a narrative device, accusations of sexual harassment, and a minor committing self-harm. I'm a former member of a very active FC, blah, blah, blah. Oh, these are from deeper in the thread that he didn't scroll down through. After our members came to Lunar, we could begin to spend, we're poaching members. Okay, this is the new one at the bottom. I'm a guild leader. I run a medium-sized guild. I have experienced quite a bit of harassment from one of the bigger guild leaders on my server. I reported to Reka that I'm getting reports from several different members of mine of Azure members harassing them, even sexually. Reka pretty much excused her guild members' crimes due to the fact that I have an ex-Azure member in my FC. I did not understand how she could okay such crimes of her members due to an ex as you remember being in my free company. I asked to get info. None of the info Rekha provided me could justify it was okay for her members to sexually harass slash harass my members due to someone she had a falling out with years ago. Sexual harassment and a minor committing self-harm. Seriously, I don't know the veracity of any of this. I just went through the Reddit thread. Is this a Discord message? Don't do it anymore. It's caused a 14-year-old to cut herself in their group and you doing that emote was like the last straw for one of their players and they got really emotional. I don't know what I'm doing to make Azure not like. Uh, they need to tell me directly. Honestly, they have nothing to show a GM of them asking me to stop or anything of that sort. Light mode Discord. I haven't seen light mode Discord in a year. It's been a minute. The only person I know that uses light mode is Rich, and he is certifiably insane. And I say that because I've known him for like five years. And I'm certifiably insane. Um, 
Incident number three was with someone Raker was apparently friends with in real life and is believed to be an incident known as the Sundering. Unfortunately, this particular incident did include some rather serious real-life issues for Raker and a rather unstable individual, that included the unstable person creating Rule 34 Art of Raker and other behavior that led to restraining orders and people losing their jobs. No jokes here, but it is odd that a very serious IRL event was made part of his RPG law. Number 4 is the most recent and what I am most familiar with. Standard FC disagreements and drama, such as arguing over bullet points or the length of a survey, along with spicier things like wanting to start drama with the people who organize and run Oh my god. This is too long. This is too much. Holy shit. <laughs> Unless I want to sit and refresh party finder aether hunts in one discord server, there are like hundreds. They all ping the same marks, but they're all run by different people. Right, we've had intercommunity drama with them specifically. It's a bunch of people all working together. We wouldn't have an us versus them mentality on it. If I didn't have a reputation, I'd kill them all day long. I think this is a selfish mindset to have. Ha ha ha. That logic is telling me to be on someone else's schedule to enjoy part of the game, though. I don't see the fairness or benefit of that. I'm not arguing this. I haven't done hunts yet. I haven't done a lot of hunts or anything like this. So this is slightly out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> As much as I'd love to eat their tears for breakfast, just despite their cocky stance on monopolization as a gang that tries to own a portion of public content, I have no interest in it. I'm trained on ETH. That because they monopolize content. People started losing their tempers, culminating with people leaving the FC and Raker leaving whatever semblance of sane, rational thought behind, starting with making ableist comments about a person getting free clears of ultimate content because of the disability. <laughs> All right, this means something to somebody. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not in the game enough to like follow parsing and understand it completely. <laughs> this means something to somebody. <laughs> All I know is orange parse is good and gray parse is bad. I think. This is way too above my head now. Your guess is as good as mine. Not to me, that's for sure. More deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I understand enough to find that funny. I assume, I assume this is the the person that was getting free clears because they're apparently disabled, who is parsing way higher than than Reka is. <laughs> I played Counter Strike. I know what a bottom fragger who's like screaming because they're terrible is like. <laughs> More details started. Okay. Okay. Well, whenever you have five minutes, I'd appreciate a short call. I did block you and uh, redacted because my FB Facebook is for family, industry, associates, and friends. Uh, all seven are friends anymore. I see. Haven't been for a while. I'm done. Okay. There comes a point in time where it just gets ridiculous. Our relationship was pathetic. You led me on for two years and a second. I promised uh, I'd wait to break up at the end of the move because I was fighting for, to keep my life together with my mother who was sick and now passed away. Uh, I had no one but God and Azure's help. You didn't give a damn like you never have with anyone. Ba, 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 ba. Coveted a cheap piece of paper. You've done nothing with this cost everyone. Cash. This is a lot. Not to me, that's for sure. Spectre, you you do you do uh you do savage raids all the time though. You should you should be explaining to us what this all means. Coming to light, including how Raker treats people behind the scenes, including a belief that God and the FC were the only ones who could help him. Raker then donned their best Warhammer 40k Auto Hereticus cosplay and searched for people who weren't loyal and kicking them for, and I kid you not, treason for associating with people who left the FC or shit. Hold on, treason? Several names will be added to the Azure Infinitum official ban list for the following ban. Uh, wait, following several bans surrounding recent situations. Some have been banned for good measure following their leave of the community and following actions f of their own or closely related parties. Most recently, 
ex general redacted and ex scout captain redacted have been banned following a Azure High Council discussion, resulting in a vote of no confidence ban surrounding their behavior following recent issues with past members. Should I start running stream like this? Instead of the Doka Punch stream where we just had Shag going, all right, I'm I'm done with this one and just spontaneously banning someone from the Twitch chat. <laughs> Should we should we just pull a the council's gonna hear about this on Sunday. And you'll have our answer on Monday as to whether you will be allowed to remain here on this stream or in this Discord. <laughs> like, what do you mean councils, man? Just if you don't like them, just ban them from the free company. The council will judge you now. Just ban them. If you're not in, if you don't like them, just boot them. Who cares? What it just even if, okay? I'm fine with like fun role play, right? I'm I'm fine with role play, and I'm fine with you know having fun with it. But there comes a point where it bleeds from, haha, fun Eve Online role play to you're actually just obviously liking the power and the feeling of power. And it becomes kind of just, honestly, it's just cringe. Nah, Shab was justified self-promoting his cringe. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm not saying Shab wasn't justified. We have, we have joked about that guy getting just yeeted at the drop of a hat <laughs> off stream many times. Don't worry. The council and I have began began receiving wait the council and I began receiving multiple warnings from a number of private sources regarding blank activity and interest outside of Azure with associated parties who were spreading misinformation and anti Azure propaganda, going as far as to leak sensitive information to band members, breaking the oath to assist, and losing the trust of our team. A source within another Discord proved with evidence that Blank had listed himself as Blank as well as played both sides. Blank, this is incredibly disappointing to us and his act. Oh, wait, that's the person. This is incredibly disappointing to us and his actions continued to prove the warnings true. External Blank was formally banned tonight with the charge of treason and suspicious conspiracy with confession and has followed similar suit as Blank, though Blank confessed to leaking council discussion, assisting others sharing misinformation and anti-Azure content with sensitive information that had put salt in the wound of a recent inflammatory issues with past members that begun to die down. Due to his actions, it is possible he may be responsible for roster and resource damages. Blank as a... Wait, yeah. I wish the colors were different for the person talking versus the like redacted names. As a general, he broke the first rule of our leadership team, broke trust, and did not have Azure or its well-being in mind with his actions, which he confessed was out of anger. You're sharing snippets of his non- I am informing you that our generals and I have held a vote of confidence, of no confidence in your membership within our community due to the following, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so same thing. Just This is just the note. He responded, okie dokie, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but responding to a giant wall of text that's, hey, you're getting banned, that is like this, and going, okie dokie. Thank you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Since from the Discord. This resulted in bro responded to accusations of high treason with okie dokie. <laughs> okie dokie there, bud. Uh, because Azure is our community, it is also a content slash media brand. We can. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Strap it. We consider loss of roster as damages and i have delivered a legal cease and desist to the individual confirmed today we have requested written agreement to cease and desist any harassment slander and poaching of azure community members if this is not agreed to by 12 17 23 we will take further legal action in accordance to two u.s codes and in-game alliance action sooner Okie dokie. 
What? <laughs> Can I do that? If someone breaks my Discord yeah, server rules, explaining this to a jury. If someone breaks my Discord server rules and like comes in stream and is upsetty that they got banned, is this how this works? I feel like it's not how this works. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm curious. When's the Legal Eagle video coming out on this? If Legal Eagle puts out a video on this, we're going to watch it on stream. I, you have my word. That would be fun. Rake are sending a cease and desist letter to a random former member of the FC. Presented is the PDF. with. Yes, this is how it was originally sent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is not him. They sent the, the CND rotated left 90 degrees. Good job. Very professional. Stunning legal masthead from Azure Info. Shout out to Legal Eagle Here it is adjusted. Although I know everyone watching this is a legal scholar. For reference, sec. <laughs> Hold on. I want to read the CND before we get to this. <laughs> Hold on. This looks like a scam. I'm just going to be honest. Anyway, regarding notice to cease and desist specific activity, dear blank, this letter is served upon due to harassment of Azure Infinitum Network community membership, including but not limited to community damages, damages to activity, and roster via poaching activity, slander, and defamation of Azure Infinitum Network leadership for your own intents and purposes to cause. This letter is compliant with California government code section 867, whatever, whatever. If you do not cease the aforementioned activity, a lawsuit will be commenced against you. If the activity continues, we will immediately seek temporary a temporary restraining order in the district court against you and any accomplices in this matter. We will also seek monetary damages to be proved at trial. Hopefully this recourse is not necessary. We have our own interest to protect and will vigorously do so. You will not receive another warning letter. If you do not confirm in writing to us by 12 17 23 that you will cease violating our agreements, a lawsuit will be commenced immediately. <laughs> this is. This is. It, it, off their rocker. Holy shit. I love Final Fantasy. I really like FF14. A lot of the community is really, really cool. Boy, there's some crazy parts of it though there really are but for reference section 8 6 7 0 is california law regarding oil spills while the u.s code reference is part of federal regulations pertaining to banking so this is where the oil rigging came from <laughs> he left his briefcase hey it's full of shredded newspapers Nevertheless, oh. bolstered by this cease and desist on Simpsons oil drilling reference? operations Probably and on whatever well of insanity they decide to slurp from, Raker, along with what remained of her senior leadership group, decided the best course of action was to march over another FC house, emote slash guard, and wait two hours demanding to sp <laughs> Ain't no way, I'ma let this play. Insanity they decided to slurp from, Raker, along with what remained of her senior leadership group, decided the best course of action was to march over another FC house, emote slash guard, and wait two hours demanding to speak with leadership, all while remaining in character. I have a better chance grabbing the moon than I do understanding why this happened. Please send help. Okay, hold on. What? <laughs> we have arrived to meet privately with blank and any fellow leaders of blank to discuss some terms or agreements to cease the recruitment of our free company and cease the drama between our two communities. We have legally served one of your newer members with a legal document and are legally prepared to take legal action in legal compliance with the U.S. legal code. And on, okay, I'm, I'm taking some leeway here with U.S. code and online harassment laws. We have evidence showing at least one who is actively poaching membership, which we consider to be damages and other issues discuss. Ship all while remaining in character, because once you've exhausted all. Oh my God. Okay, I see you've joined our Discord server. We're in VC now. If you're up to it. What I'm gonna call Okie, I mean, he's he's Okie Dokie now to me. I'm just gonna call him Okie Dokie. Okie Dokie responded. 
just hanging out, to be honest. Under the circumstances, we would like to talk. We will want, we still want to work out something that would be amicable for both of us. Oki's response. I'm down to discuss anything via text in your gen chat. Why are you avoiding trying to avoid a call? It's a lot easier to clear and hash things out. You're in our Discord and won't even properly receive us when we come to the problem solve. Oki. It's not necessary, and I prefer a paper trail. So if you wish, I'll definitely discuss it with you in your general chat. Of course, but our general chat is not the place to hash out drama. We will do things appropriately, or you have no business here. Okie again. Appropriately. I'm not sure how that's inappropriate other than you wanting to spin a narrative. I've given our terms. I approached your community, and you respectively not to discuss specific drama, but to ask things to cease. This is something you can you can micromanage. This is not something you can micromanage, Reka. If anyone came to Azure the way I did, I would have heard them out. Your members were disrespectful and the way you spoke to us publicly. If I had done that, I can only imagine. Please explain the disrespect. You won't even hold a call with another leader who's concerned enough to amicably discuss things with you. So be it. Telling you to leave the property and refu and you refusing? I've reached out to Anna regarding the Alliance and will continue to protect our community. Again, paper trail, something you refuse to leave even with your own counsel because you want to control everything. I just don't want to talk to you in a voice chat. Don't worry if you keep bringing other communities into this because you can't be a normal human being. I'll make sure every single leader on the server has every bit of information they need to to make a judgment. Other options, including legal action, your only recourse is to throw an Olympic level hissy fit. As long as you allow the direct recruitment of our free company and harbor it, you will be a poacher FC. There is no honor in this. I am formally asking you to stop. Anyway, that's everything to date. Unlike no! With Raker, I don't think I've ever said more than two words to Raker, and I'm not an angry ex-member. Bullshit. I am just <laughs> someone who found this whole ball of insanity very amusing. As a final note, I do want to note that Raker is, at this point, very practiced when dealing with various drama flare-ups over the years and there are a few common tactics he likes to employ. 1. Claims of poaching of FC members and demonizing those who left as causing drama to try and paint people disagreeing with them as the bad guy. Remember the saying that if all day you encounter assholes, you might be the asshole. I feel it's pretty applicable here, especially if it's over 10 years. 2. Avoiding any sort of paper trail and insisting we have arrived in peace to appropriately seek leaders of your community for an audience and discussion. We hold proof of poaching and would like to discuss terms you'll be interested in. No, I don't want to VC call with you. Unlike you, I have things to do in real life. If you want to keep fueling your own fire, I won't stop you. If you want to talk in less psychotic <laughs> circumstances, I will later. But at the moment, I have better things to do, like take a nap. <laughs> I like Okie Doki. <laughs> I'm hoping this is Okie Doki. <laughs> guys, editing is fantastic, by the way. He's pretty solid. His audio balancing in the start was a little iffy, but it, it's it's been very consistent after that. ...on voice calls for everything and insisting any screenshots are fake or taken out of context. Keep in mind that Rika's own rules insist on documenting issues and passing them on to leadership by taking screenshots. If you witness, are a part of, or have an inclination of drama, or that drama is going on, we strongly recommend that you don't run for the hills and immediately leave the FF14 community or other Azure services like a chicken with its head chopped off. Do take a step back, breathe, assess the situation, ask leadership ranks for details and reassurance, and take whatever steps you need to relax and not allow a situation to disturb your experience or make you hit the leave button faster than you can say Moogle. It never helps any community or any... Co if you have to have this disclaimer, I'm sorry. You got to you gotta start the FC over. If you got to have this disclaimer, you got to start the FC over. It, 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 it's cooked. <laughs> it's done. You got you to gotta start over. You, 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 no. No, 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 no. Leave a paper trail unless it's inconvenient to me. But it would be devastating to my case, your honor. <laughs> The goal is to work together, right? If any member has a concern or wants to report issues regarding drama or anything at all, it is recommended that you provide 
any details, logs, screenshots, documentation, or notes in your report to a leadership rank. This can greatly expedite problem solving and investigations. I feel like I should be an FF14 category, honestly, at this point. I mean, yeah, we're chatting, but I am kind of just talking about um, <laughs> FF14 stuff. No, I wasn't done reading that. It is recommended that you provide any details, logs, screenshots, documentation, or notes in your report to a leadership rank. This can greatly expedite problem solving and investigations. Reports should be made via direct messaging or private call through our Azure Infinitum Discord server or by contacting in-game. You can also send a private message here on our site, which allows you to write and share a lot at once. It's recommended if you do to let leaders know via Discord DM or call because apparently we don't monitor our uh, emails from our website, even though we're a super serious free company. I, I, Expedite equals sweep under the rug. Yeah. Gaslight. Yeah. Hi, Vivi. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vivi, we didn't finish the Zeems video last night, right? We, we, if we haven't, we need to finish that later. Holy shit. We did? I missed the oil drilling part with the fake legal code quotes. I missed it. Because Zeems took too long. It's recommended if you do let leaders know via Discord call, in game alert to blah, 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 blah. Okay. He said he'd do a part two. Oh, okay. To authority or how they have hidden knowledge, like. Given that Blank is a mass is a part of the Alliance of Masters, I'm admin and I've begun to talk to FC Masters of Midgard somewhere how to proceed and have explained to Blank what will be enacted should our terms not be met. I am concerned that you think I do not value our team. Let me tell you, you have no idea to what extent I have gone to protect. Oh, wait, hold on. You have no idea what extent I have gone to to protect. Oh, gone to to. Okay, I just read that wrong. I'm just stupid. To protect Azure and hold our community together. Please consider this before making such a statement or treating me this way in front of our team. Because that's not what we want to see from a lieutenant of the Azure Council. Seems only went over the rules and regulations. He never got farther than this. Okay. Our alliances or what other people are saying to them in private messages is so horrible they can't share it. Wanna be Batman? <laughs> Azure and I alike need leaders who are for this team. Being for Azure is not being a yes man. Criticism of and counsel is welcome, but I will not tolerate condescending insubordination and shadow groups undermining our entire team. These people have joked about most of you for years talking about those who don't do or know at okay well that part of uh, are people actually complaining or is that just you feeling that way yes they are proof i don't like making statements unless i can see it cool we have requested written agreements to cease and desist any harassment slander and poaching of the azure community members if the if this is not agreed to blah 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 we already saw that earlier I will be putting out a community-wide statement that will depend on the result of the current discussion being had now between Alliance and I'm, I'm assuming that's the other FC, uh, who may soon be removed and pressured by Midgard Stormor to cease harassment. Pressured by Midgard Stormor. The server? The server or the dragon? Azure's an entire dictatorship, damn. Like I, FFFCs, when they have drama, it's it's really wild. It's kind of just off the rocker. But this sounds like a specific person, so this might be okie dokie. Using their supposed professional status to browbeat and intimidate people into keeping quiet, such as with the legal threats. <laughs> My legal... Hold on. Responding to someone who said, I genuinely wasn't aware that there was something legal here that could... I, the rest of it's covered. I'm assuming be done. Uh, my legal sources have supplied me with the necessary tools to cover online harassment disputes, causing damages defined as loss in activity, membership, ad revenue, resources, and defaming mine or Azure's name is in compliance with the California government and U.S. code. I have used before with the Square Enix STF above GMs to stop large community drama. Since it's not just poaching, poaching is occurring alongside the developing situation. I've served one individual with basic legal cease and desist. It's why I presented Rika's general work history and claims and poked holes into it. Anyway, don't be afraid of this bozo or his nonsense. 
Decide for yourself if the various things shared on here, taken from numerous sources over a stretch of nearly a decade are all faked and part of a grand conspiracy of haters or if maybe there's some truth to what was shared in this video. I'm going to go touch all of the grass now, <laughs> before the Sakurameno swordsman finds me. <laughs> 10 minutes took an hour and 40 minutes to get through, but we got through it. <laughs> now we can do pandemonium.